Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to make Java e microservices talk to each other. And to show you this, I would just like to create two ordinary, simple Java e Maven projects and I will start with a coffee project. So um, I call it coffee. And the coffee project is just a plain old, simple Maven project. And then, but I, I use actually this template for all my commercial projects as well. So I would like to create a resource called coffee. Coffee resource. And this is just coffee. Um, let's say, uh, yeah, coffee path. And let's call it uh, dark roast okay now we have the coffee and what we also need i will just create right away a uh, docker file in the root of the project and i will just go to other docker file and this coffee is supposed to run on air hex whitefly and i would like to copy the um, file and this is a, not a Maven project, so I know that it should reside in target coffee.war and I would like to copy this image into deploymenter. So, and, and what's Airhex Whitefly? Well, um, I created a GitHub project called Docklands and there is a Whitefly uh, image which um, is ready to use and it inherits from the Java image. So this is, um, if you run it, it will install Wi-Fi 10. So, okay, so we have that. And now I could try to create an image. So let's see how hard it is. So coffee. So without any script, what I can do right now, I can say create a Maven project. And then if it's created, initiate a Maven build with the name Airhex coffee. And this is the current current folder. This is where the uh, Docker file resides. So I run it. So first it builds. So and this is what it took. So it created um, it created the um, the uh, the war and and created a uh, not a not an not an image because it is an error. This is too much. So just again. So now it created, it, it built in 0 0.7 seconds the Maven project and created the coffee war. So what's interesting um, is if we go here and just look at the size, the coffee war is 3K and therefore it is very fast. So um, the Java E and Docker play really well because with Java E there the application server has to build only once. And then we just build, you know, several times a day or even several hundred times a day. It's a war and the war is a thin war, a very thin war, because we don't need any additional libraries in order to make our applications work. So, um, okay, so we have that and we have the coffee and then we need, of course, the developer. So we create a developer. It's the same story. The same archetype again, I call it developer. And the developer would like to drink coffee or to at least to talk to the coffee service. So we can say com ex and I will call it a developer resource. And this is path. Get. And now I would like in the method init to establish the connection with the uh, other microservice. And to do this, I would like to use the client builder and use the JaxRS client, which creates a new client. And here say this client. Then say the client. 
would like to talk to an URI and the problem is what is the URI? So let's try it out. So I go to coffee and like to launch the coffee. So docker run minus D, this is background or detach mode, minus P and uh, I will expose the port as 8080. The name of the uh, image is coffee and then AX coffee. Now it's launched. So, and let's see whether it actually works. Curl, um, HTTP, localhost, 8080. This is the port exposed here. 8080. And then the name is coffee of the war. Resources is the entry point and coffee is the name of the path. So it works. And let's see whether we get some more information. As you can see, uh, it's um, the Whitefly service. So this is the URI. So we just copy the URI here. And now it looks right, but it won't work. And the reason is uh, there is no localhost in Docker. So there is, of course, localhost in Docker, but it's a Docker container itself. So we have two, two independent processes which have to talk to each other. So luckily in Docker, what I could do, I could just use the name and the name is coffee, I think. Um, so this is the name here and this is coffee. So uh, now it should work. So what you can do is see uh, return developer drinks drinks <laughs> coffee and to be correct I would say media type um, text plane. Okay. Now do the same. I will go here and say developer new other Docker file. I could just create it uh, with a with touch, there is nothing special with the file. And this time I would like to inherit from Payara image. And the Payara is uh, like, uh, is, a, is this Glassfish server um, with uh, commercial support available. So, um, and it's also on GitHub. So I would like to copy um, target developer.war to deployment there. So again, if I go here, um, there is in Docklands, there's of course also a Payara image. A Payara image, Payara, Payara. And this is the image uh, which is here and it installs Payara for you so I can just reuse it. So, okay, so we have the Payara image and now what I could do, I just switch to developer and build the image. So maven install docker build minus t airhex developer and the current folder. So and the image is completely built. So now there is no error. So we get an image. And now let's make them communicate with each other. So it uh, what you can do with docker, you can create a, um, a network and I would uh, call it right now uh, the coffee network. So docker network create and I'd call it coffee. Docker network ls and we see here airhex, java one network and what we also have the coffee network. So um, the uh, coffee already runs outside the network but what it can do, we can say we can edit so you can say docker network connect 
air hacks uh no air hacks coffee is the name of the network and coffee is the name of the container oh you have coffee with three with three e's so then we can do it differently docker kill coffee Okay, remove coffee and now correct that and launch it within the network. Um, so I would do the same right now. Run. So, and now let's correct that. So it's coffee with one E and hence we launch it in the network. I will remove the port mapping. So what it basically means, the coffee uh, becomes unavailable to the outside world. Only containers within the network can talk to coffee. And then there's a nice command called net coffee. It means launch the coffee image in the coffee network. So hopefully it will work and it works. Docker PS, it works. And now let's try Docker, Docker network inspect coffee. And we have the uh, Docker network here with the name coffee. And there is one container participating in the network called coffee. So now go to the container called developer or to the image called or service, micro service called developer. And now we can launch the developer. So just reuse that. It's the same Docker run coffee minus D and the name is developer. And the uh, name of the image it's also developer. So this would work. The problem is this container would be inaccessible. So to correct that, I would like to expose this network with the port 8080. 8080. And uh, just try it. So it, it, it works. And the nice story is I, I expose the port 8080. Also, there is another container also running on port 8080, but the other container uh, didn't expose the port. So now let's see Docker inspect coffee so now we have two images participating um, are within the network so uh curl do this minus e localhost 8080 developer developer and as you can see, we got a response from Payara, which obviously is a badass fish. <laughs> and uh, the response is developer drinks dark roast. So what we did, we create from scratch um, two Java E projects using Maven, create uh, Docker images uh, and connected them, connected, uh, created a user-defined Docker network and connected both images with each, with each other. So, Thank you for watching. If you are interested in more in more Java e microservices, watch my online course called Java e uh, microservices, um, and see you in upcoming conferences, projects, or even hacks in Munich. So thank you for watching and bye.